xenophobia. Not xeno, xeno, C-E-N-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. Xenophobia. So this is a very, very different thing from xenophobia. You've probably heard of xenophobia. And it's also different from Sinophobia, C Y N L P H O B I, is something else entirely. Sinophobia, C E N O P H O B I A, is a fear of novelty, new things, or voids and open spaces. For this many different definitions of xenophobia, why don't we see more of this anywhere on the internet? It's very interesting. It's probably because it has multiple names. It is also known as syntophobia, and you would think that was the fear of pennies, but it's not. Um, It's also known as kinophobia, spelled with a K, kinophobia, kinotophobia, sinotophobia, or sinoco... Can't even say that. I'm not going to try to say that one since it's not part of today's lesson. Ah, but xenophobia, that's novelty, new things, or voids, or open spaces. I was in a conversation with my husband just yesterday. He was telling me about a friend of his who gets on the internet and has something to complain about every single time the weather changes. He has no favorite season. There is absolutely nothing about the seasons that he likes. It could possibly be because of where he lives in the world. I won't say where that is because I might out this person. Um <laughs> That must suck. This is somebody, in my opinion, who may have a case of xenophobia because every single time the weather changes, there's new things. There's a novelty about it. There's a lot of stuff that somebody like this can absolutely hate. But as far as being afraid of voids or open spaces, I've seen this happen too. A lot of times this can be a traumatic response to somebody who has gone through something absolutely horrific in an open space. I knew a woman who was uh, severely assaulted and beaten while out on a very open space walking trail one day. And to this day, she can't go out into open spaces if she's by herself. It's a very real thing. 